teaching the BP disaster. The Aspen Institute's Center for Business Education put out a call for business faculty to share how they plan to teach the BP disaster. Erica Hayes James said that people at the Darden School had the opportunity to go down to the Gulf and meet with people in the Incident Command Center. They produced a video montage of the moment of the explosion and unfolded the story of the incident, and created a network diagram with nodes pointing from a center picture of the Deepwater Horizon rig. The nodes included the Obama administration, local fishermen in restaurant tours, BP corporate, a BP franchise owner, and local government. As this example indicates, one of the wonderful advantages in the second decade of the 21st century is the availability of video with key stakeholders describing the challenges they are facing and what their needs are. The learning objective is to have students be able to get experience in dealing with such situations, to have them come to understand how to manage and to deal with all of the needs of the different stakeholders. You want learners to get experience in creating a collaborative environment in the midst of chaos and complexity. Readily deployable high-quality videos discussing many sustainability and business issues are available in the TED Talks series, such as Ray Anderson's, 2009, The Business Logic of Sustainability and William McDonough's, 2005, Cradle to Cradle Design. Another case developed by Darden related to the BP Gulf incident concerned how to build an organizational structure around the needs of different stakeholders in such a catastrophic situation. Students are given experience on how to make decisions about what to report and what not to report. The issues involved in teaching a case about the Exxon Valdez oil spill versus the BP Gulf oil spill revolve around the 20 years distance that makes students feel less passionate about the Exxon case, whereas teaching a case that is in everyone's memory results in heightened levels of learned engagement. This is especially if you are teaching a case where the situation is still unfolding, where it is still unclear what the ultimate outcome will be. John Holcomb and Boo E. C. Well of the University of Denver discussed various approaches to case study discussion of the BP leak. For a sustainability course, the case might be taught to explore corporate responsibility on the one hand, and BP's failure to implement a culture supporting that on the other hand. Students will be encouraged to suggest what the components of a sustainable supporting culture might be. For example, they might put forth the developing of a robust approach to testing safety and backup plans for technologies or products that have the potential for ecological harm if they do not work right. At the University of Wisconsin Whitewater Weber and Roy, 2010, devised a joint project for courses in logistics and administrative law with an emphasis on sustainability. The immediate goal was to create an increased awareness of the environmental footprint of moving a commodity. The students were to develop skills to minimize the environmental footprint. The commodities involved were various spices to be imported, these were chosen because of relative uniformity of containerization and modes of transportation, students' familiarity with the commodities and direct connection with a local business. The exercise was developed with input from the local spice company carrying ingredients and flavors. An important factor in reducing student resistance to doing the project was emphasizing that they would be obtaining a marketable expertise, Weber and Roy, 2010. Having students meet with business executives can ground their projects in evidence and energize them. This was the situation at the University of Wisconsin Whitewater where James Kuzma, an international spice broker, discussed the financial and legal contexts of the global spice trade and how American importers' sustainability policies and programs align with spice trade practices. The University of Wisconsin Whitewater student groups all focused on air transportation as having more of a carbon footprint than other modes of transportation. They described barred shipping routes to Chicago from shipping ports such as Savannah and compared that to rail or truck transportation options. 
student groups considered the impact of shipping spices into the port of Long Beach in California with a focus on how California environmental regulations would come into play, Weber and Roy, 2010.